Hello Capricorn and welcome to your February tarot reading. So for your spiritual advice, you received the High Priestess. Let's see if I can show you the words on it. It says discernment, prescience, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, prescience, prophecy, and vision. Then of course there's a lovely picture of the High Priestess. Okay, so this is the month where you want to pay attention to any kind of inner voice that you have. You want to pay attention to your dreams, or you may have more vivid dreams. Um, you may have prophetic dreams. And also, you know, a lot of the times we have um, self fulfilling prophecies. Um, it's like you really, really want something, or your mind is on something, or you're worried about something, because, I mean, this can work on the negative spectrum also, um, and, you know, just by overthinking about those things, or obsessing about those things, we can make those things happen. We can attract those energies into our life. <clears throat> so, if it is, if there is any kind of worry, or negativity going on in your mind, you need to dispel that as quickly as possible because you do not want any self-fulfilling prophecies. But for the most part, just pay attention to any kind of inner voice that you have. This would be a great month for meditation. Um, you know, to sit still quietly and take no thought and really try to listen to that inner voice. This is the month to pay attention to your gut feelings and your instincts. So if you meet somebody new or if you're in a situation that makes you uncomfortable, trust that feeling. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, move on for, to the rest of the reading. For your Earth card, dealing with your money and your work sector and your career life, you have received the lovers. Okay, now... Obviously, um, you may meet somebody in your work environment that you are attracted to um, on some level, uh, physically or mentally or emotionally, and you know you may be longing for that person. That that's going to be a small section of you. There may be some fantasies going on there. Um, it's very easy to fantasize when you have the high priestess. And get emotions. You see the moon in the background? I'm not sure if you can see it. It's like outside of her window. That's your emotions. And, <clears throat> you know, emotions are sometimes unclear. They can, <clears throat> excuse me, they can be foggy. They can be um, wishy washy, even. So, and they can be fleeting. Okay, I think fleeting is a good word. Because what I'm trying to tell you is, you know, whatever you see in this person at this time may not be something that is lasting. It may just be a hormonal thing. <laughs> it may be just, um, you know, your emotions just seeing something you normally don't see. But um, it could, like I said, it could be fleeting. So I wouldn't take things too seriously. Um, now, for others of you, I mean, for some of you, a small part, you know, portion of you, this is, this is going to be a crush on somebody and you're going to um, perhaps, you know, go further. This is going to be something lasting. It, it, it will be something to take a little more serious. So you really got to judge that situation for yourself. Now, for the majority of you, I think that this card is going to be more about making a choice and not so much um, involving like a love partner so much, but making a choice that will affect you emotionally because this card was originally called the choice and it's about making a choice. So, um, you know, I'm not sure what's going on in your work or your finances or in your career life, but there's some kind of choice to be made for the majority of you and this is going to affect you emotionally. I know that we, we oftentimes try to separate our emotions from that part of our life but it's not always possible. So, okay, moving on. With your air card for your thoughts and your communications, you have received the Eight of Wands. This is just things moving quickly. 
Okay, this is events moving quickly, your mind's moving quickly. Um, people may, a lot of people may be talking to you, throwing a lot of things out there to you. You may feel overwhelmed. You may not be able to keep up with it all. And, you know, it may not be a bad thing. Uh, I mean, it could, it could go either way. It's not really a bad thing. It's just a necessary thing at the time. Um, you know, sometimes things move quickly. Sometimes things move slowly. And, um... And this, you know, where things are going to be moving quickly for you. People are going to be talking to you from all different directions, maybe demanding things, asking things, needing things. And like I said, it could feel a little overwhelming. And, you know, you may just be um, having a lot of different thoughts going on because this is in your air sector. This just, this could be your thoughts being overwhelming. It may not be the reality of the situation. But um, still, our thoughts affect us very much. Okay, for your fire card with your challenges and your actions, you receive the Five of Cups. Now this is all about mourning and grieving. Um, it's about taking time to uh, grieve over um, over our losses. Now this could be a physical loss, you know, a human being, uh, somebody may have passed away, or this could be um, a situation, a sad situation that you've endured or went through. This could be bad memories from the past coming back to, um, you know, for you to relive in some way. And this is in your challenge, um, your fire sectors. Um, you know, some of you are going to have bouts of depression. And if that is the case, I want you to remember the High Priestess, okay? This is a great time to meditate. This is a great time to really get out of your head, let yourself go. You have to lose yourself to find yourself, okay? And, um, and that's something that is going to be necessary for some of you. Now, for others, if this is a grieving over a situation outside of yourself or a person um, who has passed, this is a necessary thing to do before we move forward. Now, you don't want to forget all the positive things that you still have in your life. You see the two cups that are not spilled over in the background. Those are the positive things that you still have. You still have great things. You still have a lot of things in your life to, to look forward to and to be happy about. But there are three cups that are spilled. So, in the moment, you're going to feel this grief. You're going to feel this loss, this sense of loss. And it's going to be difficult for you. Okay, for your water card with your love life and your emotions, your feelings and such, you have you have the page of wands. Okay, this is you know if 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 you're in a relationship um, and you're already like you know you're committed and you're not looking for love. This just, this could be something new in your life. You know, you and your partner might be spicing something up. You may be doing something new, so some kind of new um, adventure, a new hobby together. Um, just trying something new out together. And, um, and you're, you know, I say new because pages, they're, they're generally, you know, they're, they're excited, but they're unexperienced. Okay, they're eager but they really don't know what they're doing. <laughs> um, for those of you who are looking for love or, you know, you are not in, currently in a relationship, this is just you. Um, well, for one, if you are looking for um, a, a partner or someone to be intimate with, you, this is a very positive sign. Um, it's just some, but it's something that, you know, you may be um, nervous about, but, you know, still eager. It's very positive. Um, but, you know, this could also mean that perhaps the person that you are, are, um, you know, paired up with could be, um, younger than yourself. Now, you know, depending on your age and their age, this could be okay with you. This may not be okay with you. So keep that in mind. Um, I would say for those of you that this is, you know, occurring with, um, where you are meeting somebody or like maybe you got a date with somebody blind date and they happen to be younger than you. I would say this is not something that you really like about about the person. Maybe they're 
you know, maybe they're 10 years younger than you, and maybe they're 5 years younger than you, and really, depending on how old you are, maybe that's too young, okay, so either way, and sometimes somebody may not be physically younger, but their mindset is younger, um, you're not on the same wavelength, I feel like, if, you know, the, for those of you that that is happening to, it's not going to be a good thing, okay, and I feel like that's why it's showing up, <clears throat> but for the rest of you, um, I think this is just, you know, it's a good sign, Page of Cups, it's just eagerness to meet somebody. It's a good sign that you could meet somebody. Um, and, and for like I said, for those of you that are in a relationship, this is just trying something new with the person that you're already with. It's a very positive card. Perhaps you'll do something fun. Um, but either way, you know, even if you're not looking for love or looking for a relationship, you're still doing something that's emotionally satisfying. Something that's new. Something that you're you're not you don't have a whole lot of experience with, but something that is emotionally satisfying. So that is good news, and that is your reading in its entirety. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please push that like button and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to push that little bell. That way you get notified whenever I post a new video because it's kind of sporadic. I just you know I post them as I finish them and it's all over the place throughout the month. So make sure to push that bell and um, leave me a comment. I hope this reading resonated with you. I'd love to hear about it. And even if it didn't resonate, I would also love to hear about it.